All right, guys, next example is for an off delay timer. Uh, so for this example, and I've got this scene right here um, by going to file, open on the factory IO. Uh, these are the scenes that I've been working on or we have been working on. Uh, but these scenes are already pre-made. You can't change very much on them. They're already preset. So you can add in additional inputs and outputs. You're going to have to create your own scene if you want additional inputs and outputs on here. Uh, but the sequence in which they are uh, setting up their tutorials here is from A to B, A to B set and reset. We haven't done that yet with the set and reset. Um, we've done uh, something to do with counters and then they move into assemblers and, it's, and then the same thing but in analog. So you can see that there's a sequence of awesome animations here set up so that we can work through the basics and build up more and more difficult scenes. Um, so in this one, we're going to do the off delay. So I've just taken this example right here, the third example, fill, filling tank timers. So you can open this up. And it provides you with this scene right here. So right here, we have a fill valve. So there's a fill valve on the top here. Um, the other output we have here is the discharge valve right here. Sorry for making you dizzy. Uh, so the discharge valve is in the base here. Um, and then let's look at uh, our drivers here, make sure that we're talking to our PLC. So we're going to go down to, I'm using the Siemens, Siemens S7-1200. So I'm clicking this guy and click connect. And you can see that on this scene, we have a, a, a fill valve, a discharge valve, and then we have two lights, filling and discharging. So they correspond, those two lights, correspond to this box right here. So this illuminated push button would be for the fill and this illuminated push button is for the discharge. At this point, I don't see, correct me if I'm wrong, if anybody has done this one before, um, I don't see an output for the actual timer. Like right now, if I try to grab this and bring it over, I can't replace any of the, the values that are there. So later on, we'll try and figure out how to display the time. Um, but at this point, I don't think there's an option to do that. On the inputs, we have the discharge push button. Um, and you can see the, the actual image here. If you hit this eye right here, then you can see everything, uh, which is very cool. So the discharge push button right here is this guy right here. That's an input. The fill is this push button right here. And aside from that, we have the fact that the factory IO is, is running there. Um, so if anybody knows how to make use of the timer here, leave it in the comments, but I don't see a, uh, I don't see a way that we can bring that timer value onto this display with this image that they've created. Okay, so let's go back to uh, this image right here. And so we've got the fill and the discharge push buttons and they are illuminated. And then the other two outputs again, are the fill valve and the discharge valve. So let's get this bad boy centered here. Okay, it looks good. And so I've set up a program over here using off delay timers. And so when I hit this push button right here for the fill, then it's gonna start to fill the tank. It's gonna fill it halfway. And then when I press the button again, then it's gonna fill it again to the top. Remember that an off delay timer has to be energized and then de-energized. So in this case, when I hit the fill push button, it's a normally open push button. So I'm using an XIC or an examine if closed. And when I actually close that push button, it will send a signal into the, the timer. But an off delay timer has to be energized and then de-energized. So I have to press the button. And when I let go of the push button, then the timer will start to time. Okay, so let's say... Uh, Get this guy rock and rolling now. So we'll press this push button right here. That will make this true and turn on my timer here. Oh, why don't we put it into run here, donkey? There we go. So let's press this push button right here. And again, you should see this change here. Okay, you can see it incrementing up. I have a value of 21 seconds to fill it halfway. So you're going to have to time out how long it takes from here to the top and then try and divide it in half. Then with equal values, we should be able to get halfway. There we go. Now the preset and the accumulated value are the same here. So now that has stopped. If I hit this push button again, it should fill to the top. 
There we go. So again, I have pressed that push button and then let go. Once I've let go, then the timer is timing out up to this preset value of 21 seconds. It's getting pretty close to the top. Hopefully I haven't screwed up my timing. It would be cool if this had an overflow and water just started blah, pouring out of here. Well, that's gorgeous. Nice, so it got right to the top there. And if we hit the discharge push button right here, then it should get most of the water out and then hit it again and then we'll go down to the bottom. So hitting the fill will fill it to here. Hitting the fill button again will fill it to the top. Hitting the discharge button right here will discharge the tank and then discharge the second portion of the tank when I hit it again. So let's get rid of the first portion. Now you may notice on this second timer that the timing is not the same. There's 30 seconds, there's 21 seconds. Which is a little bit strange. Why wouldn't it be 21 seconds again if it's draining out? Because this is an awesome animation. And it keeps track of the fact that there's more head pressure at the top there when we start up. Now that it's dropped to here, we have less head pressure. And so less pressure to push that water out. There's no pump or anything happening here. This is just simply the, the pressure that's in the tank here that's pushing that water out. So we'll hit the discharge button again. Hello. There we go. You can see that that light is illuminated there. So it has the discharge valve opened up and the discharge light. You can see that the valve stem is open here. And then when the timer times out, you'll notice that this valve stem closes. Well, we're getting pretty close again. Twenty, twenty-one, and now the valve stem has dropped. <laughs> and it's got such an awesome uh, sound effects too. So now we're done, and there's nothing left in the uh, in the tank. So you can see the program that's uh, that's set up here. Okay, so I have an off delay timer here and an off delay timer here. Um, <clears throat> so there are some things that are a little bit different, and you'll have to figure out why these things are different. Um, I've already given you the answer here, the fact that this guy is 21 seconds, this one's 30 seconds, because when we're filling, then we're filling from the top, right? And there's nothing that's stopping that water coming in from the top. If we were filling from the bottom, then we'd have to be careful because as soon as we fill it halfway, then we'd have head pressure that would be pushing down on that pump. But at this point, we're filling from the top, so there's nothing impeding that water flow coming in there. So we can have equal values for the fill halfway, and then for the fill for the remaining. When it's draining though, you have to take in fact, into account the fact of the, the head pressure in the tank. Once we have all this water in the tank, well, we have a heck of a lot of head pressure at the base of the tank, which is going to drop that out. Same as with the capacitor. I bet you we could take five equal time constants here and break this guy up, and it would take five time constants for it to drain out. In that on the first drain, or first timing, I bet you would lose 63% um, of the tank's fill. And then every subsequent um, time base there would lose another 63%, same as a capacitor. So, but filling here, it doesn't mimic the, uh, the capacitor because there's nothing impeding that flow there from the fill valve. Okay, so you've got to get your head around the, the off delay timer. I've given you the program here, but it's not going to be exactly the same on your computer. You're going to have to finesse it in order to get it to work. Okay. Keep in mind over here that this push button right here is not a normally open contact for the discharge valve. This discharge valve right here is the same as our stop push button. And we've seen that on the stop push button, that is a normally closed contact. Okay. So, you may have to fool around with your XIOs and XICs um, in order to get this guy to work for you, okay? Because it's the same timer, the same TOF timer, but we have different, sorry, different uh, inputs. Here we have a normally open contact. Here we have a normally closed contact. Normally open on the fill, normally closed on the discharge. That's the way that they set up the scene. So we've got to make the program work with what we're given. Okay, again, I'm going to press this push button right here. It's going to illuminate this push button and drain out the tank. Once 
Once the timer stops timing out, then this light should go off. And it goes a lot farther down. Again, because we have another nine seconds of drain there. The reason why I have an increased value here is because, well, it's going really far. <laughs> because when we get to this point, there's not much water left, so there's very little head pressure, so it takes a really long time for this amount to actually drain out. Okay, same as with the capacitor. You want to drain all the voltage out. It takes a long time for it to, to drain out. Depends on the size of the capacitor and then the resistance, the resistance being the size of the pipe on the outlet valve there. Okay. Again, the timing for this one, for the off delay and the on delay, it's in this, the preset is in milliseconds, so you're gonna have to change this to seconds here on your preset. Beautiful. All right, guys, that's good enough for the, uh, the off delay timer. If you still messed up on on delay and off delay timers, uh, go back to the main channel uh, and look through each of your PLC playlists, whether you're looking at the Tweedo Suite, the Siemens, or the Allen Bradley. Each of them will have the same video describing the on and off delay timers. Um, and then you should have a video for each of your PLCs describing how to make use of uh, the on and off delay on each of those guys. With this one again, it's the exact same as the, the on delay on the Tweeter Suite. You have an input, you have an output on the queue, you have the preset time, and that's essentially it. This right here is the is basically the accumulated value on the ET. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give a thumbs up if you liked it. Any comments, uh, leave them below. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys.